So today I'm going to talk to you about weekly check of the emergency generator here on board. Uh, these checks are just basic checks, start it up offload and make sure everything's okay with it. So I'll turn the camera around and let's make a start. So here is the genset, it's a Scania DI16075M coupled to a 596 kilowatt generator. And before we do anything, first thing I like to do is just take a general walk around, see if there's any leaks visible. So we get down, check underneath it. As you can see, it's a V8 engine. All this side looks fine. Let's go around now to this side. Uh, two starting methods, just two different sets of batteries there, and that's the changeover. Again, looking down here, I can't see anything majorly wrong with it. I right, check the voltage on the battery chargers. That's one, two, both of them are okay. Moving on next then, before I start it, I'm just going to check the oil and the water level. Here on this expansion tank, we haven't actually got a level as such, it's a Murphy switch gauge. So to check that, I'm just going to move the gauge, make sure it's not stuck and that the reading is accurate. And then finally check the oil level. It's a pretty simple operation. So let's go ahead with that first. So that's the oil and water level check, both of them are okay. So we'll come over here now to the switchboard itself. And as you can see, we've got basic set of instructions how to start it. So I've already informed the bridge that we're gonna start it, just as a courtesy, because this uh, room is actually situated above the bridge. I'm gonna put the mode select switch to manual, and then we're basically ready to start it, but I'll set up the camera again so you can see the thing start. the engine starts up then you can feel the engine driven fan pulling the air in over the engine to help keep it cool i'm just quickly checking now that the frequency and voltage are okay so for this particular genset 440 volts and 60 hertz for the frequency and i'll go and over checking the oil pressure fuel pressure making sure everything's okay there obviously if there was an issue there's pressure switches on the engine and it would automatically shut down or at least give an alarm first and I'm just going to walk down the side of the engine, make sure that there's no abnormalities here and that the analog press switches on the side of the engine correspond with what I've just read on the digital display. And then head out, check the funnels and let it get up to temperature. Okay, so I basically let the engine get up to temperature there, run for maybe 15-20 minutes, uh, stop the engine, now put it back into auto and you can see here we have emergency generator ready to start, emergency generator on standby. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just change over the start batteries, so next week she'll start up on serve batteries number two and this will probably give an alarm. So reset that, uh, last thing to do then, we have the fuel tank here, tank 146 on this ship, I um, don't know if you can read that there, minimum level for full load, running it for at least 18 hours, so that's your sole last requirement there, and as you can see we've got quite a bit more than that in. So my mic actually cut out at this point, so I was just explaining how every week we drain off a little bit of the fuel as well, make sure there's no water or sludge settled in that tank and also confirming that the sounding we're getting locally is the same as the remote sounding 
I then just take a quick walk outside, take a look at our main deck. You can see our 400 ton subsea crane parked up in the boom rest next to the 100 ton crane there. Well, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have anything else you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments.